Hi Libra and welcome to your April reading. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, and or Venus. Sorry, I'm still getting choked up and that's coming from like Virgo's reading. But um, yeah, whoever clicked on this video, you don't have to be a Libra or have really strong Libra placements. Just know that you were brought here for a reason and so I hope you hear all that you need. Um, I hope you learn, laugh, or just admire if you came simply because of the way that I look aesthetically. Um, I'm appealing to you, whatever the reason may be. Again, uh, click that subscribe button before you do leave because I mean like it's free and I be dropping gems low key and I be looking fine and on fleek. Got the bars. But yeah, anyway. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. So yeah, coming into the month of April, what you guys have is the death card with the nine of wands and the queen of swords. I'm seeing that moment um, and I forget who the Egyptian god was, but pretty much judgment day because what came out after the queen of swords was the judgment card. So it's like going through that transition, right? You're passing over. And this may be something that you think about a lot. Like when you die and you are put in front of your maker and you can't explain to this person, like you can't give this person excuses because they know already. They know everything. They've been through everything. You know, they created the universe. When you are met with your maker, what can they say of you and all that you've done and all that you've tried? Did you try hard enough? Did you really stay on the beaten path or keep trotting along? Trotting along? Trotting? Tr Forgive me, guys. Mercury, the post-shadow period, still affecting me. But trotting along your beaten path of your mission and trying to fulfill the mission or did you give up right before the glory? you know um you're not wanting to live with the thought of what if with anything in life and so you're wanting to try as hard as you do but sometimes trying too hard uh it it, it reads as being desperate so if this in, if this is in regards to another person could be an air sign right Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, who else is here? Uh, Scorpio's card is here. So it can be dealing with a, a water sign. But at the bottom of the deck, you do have the lover's card. So something that you love or somebody that you love and, again, can also be a Gemini. Stop trying to look for what it is that you want so badly. Because that's what's kept you bound here. That's what's kept you in states of suspension. Again, when people feel like you are desperate and that's the one thing that you're looking for, the one thing that you need, the one missing piece to the puzzle, to your life, they're going to use that to their advantage. Um, what's funny is I was watching a video with my sister just yesterday and it was from Steve Harvey's show and it was like it's all fun and games until the rabbit has the gun you know if you're the one hunting the rabbit it's really fun when you are the one pointing at the other person and you have the power and you have the control but when it's reversed and it's in their hands then it's a problem okay so I feel like some of you guys are really getting a taste of your own medicine if ever you've been that type of person to lead other people on or to keep them dangling in suspense because you like them writhing in discomfort you like them begging you uh to be with you right to have a chance with you then now you're getting a taste of your own medicine how does it feel if this is what you're going through karmically this is going to be that catalyst for change for a lot of you individuals or if this is nothing that you are doing this again it's energy energy is fluid it can be the other person that you're involved in or involved with right and something that they're going through they're getting a taste of their own medicine because they're not getting what they want what is which is you which is a partnership 
with you but again if this is you and you're trying really hard stop trying stop wanting stop waiting okay when you are no longer concerned and or obsessed with the goal is when it is able to be reached okay is when it, you are able to hear that piece of advice to know what to do next to get what it is that you want if you haven't quite yet achieved it yet you're not in the the final steps or processes of acquiring or obtaining a certain goal and or of uh, being with a certain person stop wanting it okay so that the universe can give it to you don't hold any high expectations of what it's supposed to look like and or feel like. Don't hurt your feelings in that way. If somebody's trying to come back into your life from the past that you've been working really hard to get over here with this energy, right? With this death energy that's here, the Knight of Wands energy with the Queen of Swords. It's somebody that you've made a clear barrier in between, like you've blocked them on social media. You've blocked them from your contacts list right they have no way of getting in touch with you yet and still they find a way to get in touch with you somebody again trying to come back into your life just do be wary of the intention right don't get so hooked on the memories of the past and reminiscing about them and only looking to the good moments feel this person out and hear what it is that they're saying but not just relying solely on what it is that they tell you here with this two of swords energy because in this image you know the eyes are still closed you need to see how they show you that they're different how they show you that they care how they show you that they love you how committed they actually are to being with you have they really changed or is this a gimmick? Is this a facade? Are they putting on an act? Use your common sense this month. I know that being a Libra, you are all about being a hopeless romantic. But if that hasn't been working for you, then that's something that has to be transformed. It has to be transmuted into something or like a behavioral pattern that is more conducive to your growth. Also, I feel like if you guys have been waiting around for other people to do for you, I, I, I think that you're just over that in the month of April. Rightfully so. I am. I am capable. You can do it by yourself. Yes, it might be harder. Yes, it might take longer. But you can't put that type of power in another person's hands because you'll be waiting for an eon. Shit, you'll be nice and old and gray and saggy <laughs> with wrinkles grandkids shit like again you don't want to wait and have that question of like what if if you don't uh fiercefully or fearlessly go after your passion with tenaciousness go after your mission um remaining dedicated despite the hardships that you experience right it's having that faith that if you just keep going along right if you're moving just an inch forward that's still progress because you're an inch further than where you were a moment ago you know what i'm saying it's celebrating those small successes and taking those breaths in the in the midst of the trials that you're going through and allowing for other people to help you in ways that they can but not just expecting for them to do everything for you and waiting hand and foot on somebody. Maybe you need to, with this Nine of Wands energy, uh, involve yourself more in higher learning so that you can know what it is that you've been asking for somebody else to do in the first place. Like, I'm getting the uh, uh, coding as an example to use. So if you don't know about computer programming, you don't know much about technology in itself, um, I definitely feel like you guys can start taking classes or involving yourself in some sort of immersion course that is more hands-on where you can learn how to do the thing that you have been seeking out for other people to help you with and, and get the ball rolling here. But for some of you, just don't be too eager to strive and obtain with the energy here. Don't go faster than you're designed to go. 
if you know now is not the right time to launch a business just because you have the divinely inspired idea to do something and it feels like it's a good thing to do and move forward with with all of this energy here the death card the judgment card the wheel of fortune the hangman you have some heavy hitters i just would take a second to think about both case scenarios with this two of swords yes how can it work out but do i have that cushion in case it doesn't if you happen to make the wrong business move i can guarantee you won't make it again if you were actually present right if you're observant of how you got conned out of a situation how you were shortchanged okay in a relationship if you put too much in too fast and you were just generally moving too fast i bet you you won't move fast again and make decisions off of impulse you also can't be half-assed in love so if you've been indecisive about that with moving forward with someone you're either all the way in it or you're not because you're never going to actually see and or feel what a lot of people who are in love tell people love feels and or looks like if you're only ever dipping your toe into it again you have to be fearless you have to have courage to fall in love with someone to trust someone that much but having that nice balance where you're not losing your sense of independence and or your freedom and your sense of identity and having that built up resentment later on for having put so much into another person to where you lost yourself in the process to where it seems like if things were to end you don't have anything to fall back on so really working on again those character flaws but uh, also changing the way that you go about things and being more action driven in the month of april in aries season that kind of supports you because you know we are just naturally go-getters very ambitious types you can definitely get that sense of or feel a surge of that type of energy in the month of april and again not waiting for somebody else to kind of tell you what to do and or when to move and give you that direction you're taking the blindfold off and you're doing it for yourself you're seeing with your own eyes you're moving your own feet you know you're working and manipulating with your own hands you're getting things done you're going to be able to do and get the things that you like this month that you like not that somebody else likes not that somebody else decides for you but that you desire okay and that is refreshing for you so take advantage of the energy take advantage of also opportunities there are going to be some small moments through all these trials and tribulations um all these challenges that you may experience this month in regards to intellect and philosophical thinking and expansion in that regard as far as being a business person right a public figure um, and having that type of persona and or those responsibilities um, with any challenges that come about with again another uh, air sign or just somebody that you are wanting to have a, a relationship with there are going to be some good moments so revel in them but again don't get caught up in them don't get caught up in just what somebody says this month um they need to walk it like they talk it is what i'm hearing <laughs> so just be careful with that but also if you're asking that of somebody else make sure that you also are capable of being able to like talk your shit and back it up back 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 it up but yeah that's what's coming through for you guys now as far as your chakras are concerned your root chakras here um sacral and solar plexus that's been in almost everyone's reading thus far people are really struggling with their their uh identity their self-esteem self-worth um confidence as well as having stability and feeling industrious and feeling uh just overall uh, like a skillful contributing member to society at whole people are struggling with that so just making sure that you are okay with self that you feel um okay with the image that you have been presenting thus far to the people to the public and if there's something that you don't like about yourself changing them in the healthiest manner um, just because you understand that you have outgrown the space that you've been in and it's time for that type of change it's time for the type of transformation you're done with the stagnancy you're done with being left in the dark you're done with just sitting in the dark 
and sitting in unknown spaces you will make decisions this month and you are going to be at peace with whatever decision that you make and however the cards may fall after you make them